Americans living today and Americans living 100 years ago have a lot in common, so it comes as no surprise that overall the American dream guiding our actions hasn't changed all that much. It is only during times of trouble that we shift our vision of the American dream to quickly solve America's problems. In 1913, Henry Ford began mass-producing his Model T using the assembly line. With the help of the assembly line, the process to build a car became much easier, and much time was saved. This enabled more cars to be made in a shorter amount of time. During the early 1900s, Americans looked for things to be done at that moment. People didn't want to wait around anymore. The simplification we look for in our lives today is clearly not anything new. In the 1940s, a television boom began. World War II had ended and people wanted to simplify their lives and just relax. TVs enabled Americans to enjoy all the entertainment of going to a baseball game or watching a movie right in their own homes. TVs even worked as lazy babysitters for working mothers. The American dream during the 40s was again driven by the desire for a simpler and easier life. The American dream in the late 60s drastically changed. Due to the race for space and America's potential fall from being the world's number one power, the priorities of the American people changed. Instead of a simple life, we wanted to regain our power. With the launch of the Apollo 11 mission and the landing of the first humans ever on the moon, Americans showed their desire to always be number one. Astronauts report it feels good. T minus 25 seconds. 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence starts. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Neil Armstrong reporting the roll in pitch program. Today we live in a world where every single thing we do is controlled by technology. We try to fit as many things as possible into our schedules, even if we don't have the time. Because of this, we rely heavily on technology to help us accomplish everything we do. It is possible that our technology use has even slowed us down. The piece of technology that I have designed to represent today's American dream is able to control every aspect of our lives, for good or for bad. Hopefully one day soon we will realize that our use of technology is hampering the true American dream, the pursuit of happiness and well-being in our daily lives.